We begin tonight with the terror attacks overseas, where Belgian investigators are chasing down every lead they have in their search for a suspect still on the run. Meantime, the two suicide bombers have been identified, and we're learning one of them was in custody just last summer. The death toll from the terror in Brussels stands at 34, with as many as 270 others injured. And now we're learning ISIS is dispatching hundreds of trained terrorists to attack more targets in Europe. The State Department warning American travelers to be on alert. An all-out manhunt in Belgium to capture a terrorist before he strikes again. They're looking for this man, seen at the Brussels airport in a dark hat and tan coat. The two men with him are suicide bombers. One has been identified as Ibrahim El Bakrawi. Police say it's his brother Khalid who carried out the deadly attack at a subway station earlier in the day. The brothers, authorities first said, had extensive criminal histories, but non lié au terrorisme. not tied to terrorism. It turns out that isn't true. Last June, Interpol issued this worldwide alert about Khalid, wanted in Belgium for terrorism. Turkish officials say they detained Ibrahim at the Syrian border, but he was deported and made it back to Belgium. On Tuesday, prosecutors say this was their last act, blasts turning the bustling airport terminal into a scene of carnage. Here, you can see a baby on the floor next to a mother who appears to be dead. An hour later, this explosion at a nearby subway station. Now, there are tributes to the 34 victims and hundreds wounded around the world. You do not have power over us. We are strong. Our values are right. You offer nothing except death. Authorities believe one of the suicide bombers was the bomb maker in November's deadly attacks in Paris, part of an ISIS terror cell based in Belgium, and part of a larger plot.